Google just announced Android Wear 2.0 with cutting edge features ranging from handwriting recognition to the latest fitness monitors, humanity has certainly come a long way since the sundial. The evolution of the watch. The history of keeping time based on the sun's position goes back to at least 2000 BC but it wasn't until the early 1300s that the first mechanical clock was invented. Being able to take that clock on the go with you would take another 100 years, stemming from the creation of the mainspring in the 15th century. The mainspring was a metal ribbon that was wound up, creating a stored energy used to power the gears in a watch. The first actual watch is credited to Peter Henlein, a German clockmaker who created timepieces that could be worn as pendants or on a chain. But these were not used like the watches of today. They were so inaccurate that they didn't even have minute hands. They were worn by nobility mainly as a fashion statement. Everyone else still had to look up at the town's clock towers or listen for the daily church bells. As time ticked on, the watch grew in popularity and became small enough to fit in your pocket, but it was still inaccurate up to a half hour. Then, in 1657, two inventors, Robert Hooke and Christian Huygens, independently developed the balance spring, which improved the accuracy of the pocket watch to within 10 minutes of real time. So the minute hand was finally added. The age of enlightenment was boom time for watchmakers. Inventions such as the lever escapement, the jewel bearing, and the going barrel all led to more accurate timepieces in the 1700s. Finally, in 1810, a man by the name of Abraham Louis Barreau created the wristwatch for Caroline Murat, the Queen of Naples. And at the end of the century, military around the world began to use wristwatches to synchronize their movements and strategies. Aviators and drivers could now know the time with just a glance at their wrist, and by the end of World War I, wristwatches had become an affordable and crucial accessory for working men and women everywhere. It's so precise. We guarantee monthly accuracy within 60 seconds, two seconds a day, and your jeweler will regulate this accuracy free. In the 1950s, the electric watch was developed from the use of electromagnetics, but in 1969, the quartz watch set a new standard for timekeeping. Using quartz crystals in place of the balance wheel and digital counters in place of the gears, the watch was improved radically in accuracy, durability, and size. Soon after, some watches were given LED displays and could be guaranteed accurate on seconds to the year. In 1990, Jun Hangs offered the first radio watch, which sent signals from government-operated atomic clocks straight to your wrist. Today, the smartwatch can do almost everything your phone can do, and timekeeping is one of its least impressive feats. So what kind of technology will we be wearing on our wrists in the future? Let us know what you think below.